Do you set goals and start out on the right track but then wind up right back where you started? Maybe you were trying to lose weight and you started out but then wound up back at the same weight where you started or more. Uh, back in the same sort of unhealthy relationships. Back in terms of debt. Back in terms of the same sort of problems at work. The same situations of problems that happen over and over again. Well today I want to show you exactly why that happens and how you can start to shift out of that to really get some real results. The reason that we wind up back where we started more often than not, no matter what we try to do to change things in our life, whether it's the success at work, whether it's relationships, whether it's uh, our finances, whether it's our weight, all these sorts of things, is that what is governing this is not our conscious mind. No matter how much we want it, it doesn't make a difference. It's run by your unconscious mind and what you have is it's almost like a GPS in your brain, an internal GPS of where you should be with all of these characteristics and no matter what you do consciously that unconscious mind of yours, your unconscious mind will work to take you right back to that spot where it thinks you need to be. Now think of it as you know a really simple example is how your body maintains your temperature. Okay? So if you are in a place that's too hot, what do you do? You sweat to cool down, to lower your body temperature. If you're in a place where you're where it's too cold, what happens? You shiver and you get goosebumps to raise your temperature. You don't do this consciously. Your body knows where your temperature needs to be. And in exactly the same way, your unconscious mind has got a programmed GPS of where you should be in terms of weight, in terms of relationships, whether it's among friends, in the workplace, or with a significant other, uh, the type of people you're with, whether it's friends or, or colleagues, or the type of person you have a relationship with, um, what your relationship with money is. You might wind up having more money over the time of your life, but you're, you're just as much in debt no matter how much you have, or you always have that sense of not having enough. With weight, it's an again a very common thing that happens is uh, people, you know, our society is all about diets, right? Because everyone's wanting to lose weight, but they wind up where they, where they started. And that's because that's what your GPS is saying. And until you change that, nothing you do outside will work because your conscious effort is like the tiniest little movement in this finger compared to your whole body barreling ahead. Okay, So what you need to do instead of fighting your unconscious, you need to work with it. You need to be able to uncover, map what that default setting is and then delete it. And so how do you map it? Well, you look through your life. Who are the people that keep popping up, not necessarily the same person, but the type of person. What are the conflicts that keep happening? What is, again, weight's a very simple one. What is the weight you keep going back to, or the, the overweight? Um, finances, what is it that happens over and over? You start looking at your life and you start mapping those patterns. And then once you have that, there's, um, a whole range of ways that you can use to to delete that. I mean that's what my whole uh, Reset Your Personal GPS program is about. Uh, the simplest way is probably just to uh, use a ceremony called a burning bowl which comes from the indigenous peoples which you write down that whole pattern and what, what it is that keeps happening in your life and, and then you take that piece of paper, you rip it up, you put it in a fire resistant bowl, a metal bowl or something and take it outside somewhere where things aren't flammable, there's not a lot of wind and you burn it and then once the ashes have cooled down you can bury them and let it go and there's a really cathartic letting go. That will work for a lot of people. Some others need uh, 
some more intense uh, processes to be able to delete that because it is in your unconscious. It's not a conscious thing at all. And only then can you program new goals. So invest a bit of time in mapping out what your default setting is and then you're miles ahead of breaking free of it. If you want to discover what the seven biggest mistakes people make are when they're goal setting and visioning, make sure that you uh, check out the link that's uh, on this blog and you can get a free uh, white paper on that.